Tehran reportedly admitting to seizing a foreign tanker. Tehran ac um, accusing 12 crew members of smuggling oil. Trey Yinks is on the story from our Middle East Bureau now. Trey, what happened here? Well, Bill, that's exactly right. Today, the Iranians announced that they seized a tanker with 12 crew members accusing that crew of trying to smuggle more than 220,000 gallons of fuel. The announcement made today on Iranian state television saying the seizure actually took place on Sunday. The presenter added the vessel failed its operation because of a smart move by the Guard's Navy soldiers. Iran's Revolutionary Guard claims the vessel was smuggling Iranian oil to foreign ships. The statement did not include any evidence to support that claim. The timeline does align, though, with the disappearance of a UAE-based oil tanker in Iranian waters, but it's unclear if the Iranians are referring to the same ship. The news comes as an Iranian oil tanker remains in British custody near the Strait of Gibraltar. The vessel that is likely to be released soon was accused of violating EU sanctions by trying to deliver oil to Syria. This summer in the Gulf, six tankers were targeted in two separate incidents, adding to already rising tensions. According to reports this week, the U.S. military is trying to set up a maritime coalition to operate in the Gulf in order to prevent attacks by Iran or Iranian-backed proxies on oil tankers. Now, this as the U.S. Navy is patrolling the Arabian Sea and preparing for the possibility of engaging with Iranian forces. Our mission is the same. It does not change, which is to promote security in the, in the region, uh, assure allies, ensure, and certainly ensure the free, uh, free flow of commerce uh, throughout the Straits. Now, this is all in response to U.S. sanctions currently imposed on the Iranian regime. Many of these provocative actions trying to send a message to the West and Europe still scrambling to try to find a solution to save the Iran nuclear deal. This month, Iran has broken two key commitments in the agreement. Bill? Trey Yanks, thank you.